without further delay, let's get started. He is going to be a combination of the current MechBoy model, which you can see the body here, and his backpack, and his wrench arm right here. A lot of that is going to stay. We're going to switch out the chest for this piece, which is from one of the Rocket Orcs. He's going to have a bionic foot. He's going to have a claw. We're going to switch out part of the claw for this little saw piece up here. I'm not sure which arm is going to fit best. And we have this sweet yelling orc face. We're going to remove a couple mold lines. Okay, here we go. Scoot's Leg, Chapter 1. We're going to move on to his torso. This should be relatively simple. We basically have the front half of a torso on each. And I'm going to see where it lines up about the same. to make sure this lines up with the back of the torso which is not going to line up perfectly but we don't need it to line up perfectly you just need it to line up pretty much and when we fit that his arms kind of line up it would probably be easiest just to take these little armpits off so I can get it as flush as I want at the top. And then we'll just fill that in with green stuff. Okay, so we are back with Scoot, who is mostly dry here. You can see our body has a lot of gaps, but that's fine. We'll fill those in. The front here lines up really well, I think, and that's the most important part. I was just dry fitting some of these pieces, the arm that came with this original body. So we just want to make sure these shoulder pads don't get in the way because of that little piece they give us another 
place to glue arm, which is good because we're going to angle it just slightly and we'll fill in some green stuff in that torso. So that works. And then our head uh, should not get in the way of either of these. We just loosely place these up. All right, so there's our head. And the backpack doesn't come that far forward, so that won't get in the way. Our other arm has a lot more work, so what I'm going to do is fill in these gaps with green stuff and then glue these pieces down so that we basically just have the other arm to finish and then we can pose the other arm to match all the pieces that fit flush. <laughs> Backpack on so I know where it sits. I know it doesn't really get in the way, but I just want to know where it covers. And a lot of people for painting might leave that off so they could get in the nooks and crannies back here, but my painting style is a little dirtier and I don't care about that. It's, it's important to remember green stuff is not glue, so it is sticky when it is malleable but when it is dry it's not sticky at all it'll peel right off um, a lot of people mix super glue with it and that will make it a pretty strong bond but what we're going to do here is let that super glue or let that green stuff dry in the shape that we want it to be is we're pushing that arm into the green stuff so that there's a essentially like a divot that will hold it the green stuff will mold to the shape of the arm piece and then once the green stuff is cured and hard we pop the arm off and it'll slot right back into that divot that we just made i often wait till the end to glue the head but I can get a good sense of where my model is right now. I know he's going to be looking off this way. So that's where we're going to go. His head tilted a little bit, yelling at people, being a boss. Cool. Okay, so here we are back with Scoot. He's going to be my back boy. He's looking pretty good so far. He has dried for a couple hours now, and I'm just going to pop this off. Okay, so here we are with all of our arm pieces. Um, I have two arms here. I'm not sure which is going to fit better, but I'm leaning towards this one because it's kind of it's kind of bending his arm a little bit more. He's got more of a angle on his uh, elbow there, which is kind of more the look I'm going for without having to recreate that. I mean, they're, they're pretty darn similar, to be honest. This one's already flat. Let's just go with the flat one. We're going to go with the flat one, because it's one less thing we have to do. 
we're going to end up cutting off this hand. We're going to replace it with this hand, which I don't know why, but this is the other arm. But it's a three-fingered hand, or a four-fingered hand, I suppose. And it kind of would go on either arm, so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to flip it up this way so he's like, you know, kind of... Shaking his fist at the sky. forearm really long but it's a robot so it's not like it really matters how long it is you probably want to make it extra long so it's more of a reach now I just have to decide if that is gonna fit if that little saw is gonna look good as a thumb like that it's a little big which is not the worst thing Maybe we give him an extra appendage this way, so it's more like a, uh, too big. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, if it doesn't look right, we can rip it off. Yeah, that's my dude Scoot. He's going to be making a whole bunch of cool vehicles. He's going to get a couple assistants and, uh, There'll be plenty more coming soon.